If you follow the news during the last decade or so, you will be able to catch a glimpse of one of these pictures. Headlines such as Hurricane Sandy, why is Sandy unusual? Venice is slowly sinking. Why is Indonesia moving its capital city? Among other headlines relating to one of these three keywords. Climate change, sea level rise, and sinking cities then you must be suspicious by then of the global climate condition we are in. To answer that question, I welcome you to my presentation. Sea level rise, cause and impact on coastal cities and settlements. Within the next four minutes, I will concisely explain the causes of global sea rise, the rate at which it will rise, and the different kinds of impact it may have on cities. According to NASA's observations in Global Climate Change Vital Signs of the Planet, NASA identified two primary causes of global sea level rise. Firstly, global warming, resulting in added water from melting ice sheets and glaciers. Secondly, expansion of seawater as it warms. In an unclassified working party report released in 2003 by the OECD, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, a case study on sea level rise impacts is released. In it, Nicholas, the author, identified the causes of sea level rise to be induced by human activities through the release of greenhouse gas emissions, where major increase in the temperature would cause ice sheets and glaciers in Greenland and Antarctica to melt thus increasing the sea level. The rate at which global sea level may rise differs from reports to reports as the trend of human activities change through the years. However, I have come to a common rate amongst most studies that indicate averagely about between nine centimeter to 88 centimeter from 1990 to 2100. It is possible that by 2050, the sea level would rise by 50 centimeters or faster if global temperatures continue to increase. That is, the mean sea level rise per year would exceed the current average of 2 millimeter per year to 4 millimeter per year in the 22nd century. This will effectively enhance the efficiency of natural hazards on coastal cities. With the understanding of cause and rate of this imminent threat, we will now look at the impact it has on global cities. From a report named The Future We Don't Want, released in 2018, a major section concerning coastal flooding and sea level rise identified that the impact of global sea rise would reach over 800 million people in 570 cities by 2050. With the rapid urban development around the world, the risk would be further amplified. Here is a map of urban populations in 2000s, with red circles denoting areas where over 10 million people live. And this is the map of urban population in 2050. As more and more people move to urban areas and to commercial centers near the sea, more people will be contributing to the future as sea level rise. And this will also affect and contribute to the following hazards. Firstly, intensified flooding and submergence of cities. Two, increased erosion to shoreline. Three, intrusion of seawater. And four, drainage problems. Looking back now on the news at the beginning of this presentation, now you may be able to understand better the causes that have led us to see the headlines that we see today. Your action today make a difference. Simply start by raising your own awareness of global situations, inform yourself. You may start by looking at the internet for more in detail at a C40 website. C40 is an international organization 
of over 97 global cities dedicated to making a difference follow the global sea level rise at NASA, NASA Global Climate Change, where you can find sea level rise and many more data sets. The sooner we act, the better, but first be informed. Thank you.